I used to dream of this place when I was a young cut purse. I thought if I can make enough of myself, one day I can go there, hold my head high, order a drink like a normal person. It tastes the same as what we have in the den. Yes. He's the reason I needed a strong drink. According to Magnifica Falora, the Iron Wheel's prison ship encountered a storm and nearly capsized. The waves swept a dozen people over the side, Nicholas among them. Body lost to the storm, they said. Neither does Magnifica Falora. Here's a copy of his wanted poster. It's plastered all over Tanith. I want you to find out what really happened. If he's dead, we throw a party in the den. But if he's alive, you track him down and... Do as you see fit. I'll back whatever decision you make. Someone called the Desert Falcon is looking for Nicholas as well. That's how this came to my attention. I want you to see what this Falcon knows. Last I heard, the Desert Falcon was in Greenshade, some tavern in Marbrook. See what you can learn. If any trails lead to Nicholas, follow them. I'll answer what I can. Someone who doesn't realize Desert Falcon is incredibly pompous. Nicholas made enemies over the years. Maybe it's one of them. But why look for him now and not after the dowry heist? Whoever it is, my hope is they're willing to work with you. You are the last person I expected to see. Did you come to gloat? To tell me my search for Nicholas will end in failure? And how did you learn I was the Desert Falcon? I'm no longer Chief Inspector of anything. After your guild escaped no Shira Citadel, I had no choice but to resign from the Iron Wheel. The journal was a nice touch. I'd hoped it would seal the fate of Nicholas at his trial. But a storm did that, allegedly. <laughs> you don't get that from me. You couldn't follow simple instructions to put down a sparkling trinket. How can I possibly trust you? We thought Abba's landing was full of bandits. The merchant lords pointed us in your guild's direction. When I realized they used us to settle old debts, I withdrew the iron wheel to no Shira Citadel. You think me heartless, that I don't regret our methods? Ugh, all right, you win again. Here, this key opens my strong box. You're welcome to the contents. No, but I suspect he's in Grotwood. There's a snitch, goes by the name Bellalor Chatterbeak. Slippery fellow, loco. He might know where Nicholas was heading. It's all in my notes. I'm not helping you. I'm ending my involvement. I'm done with his case. There's neither profit nor honor in its resolution. What do you want?
Don't think I've seen you around. Or I could have. I was quite drunk yesterday. Hello again, for the first time. Are you working for that ram's beak, Falcon Wings fellow? Heard he wanted the same thing. Also heard he was a guard. He sent you in? Fine. Tell him my price. Pay my tab at every tavern in the city. Bounty hunter. I can always spot the type. Think they can squeeze people like us. I met your friend at a tavern. Briefly, you understand. But I remember enough to send you to him. First thing, he didn't go by Nicholas. Can't recall his name. Something equally forgettable. But I do remember his high elf companion. A widow she was. My darling Volu, he called her. They were returning to her home. A pleasant little manor outside of uh, Haven, I believe. In Grotwood. I can't remember anything else. The drink, you see. But they were to be married as soon as they returned. Oh, she'd fallen for him. I could see that. He was some sort of painter? The canvas kind, not tavern placards. He brought some kind of joy to her life. Would have been lovely, but I passed out on the table. I don't often receive visitors in my garden, especially the uninvited ones. Vantis? Whatever for? And who are you exactly? He struggles enough finding his muse. Distracting him with financial matters will disturb his concentration. I must ask you to leave. I will inform Vantis you stopped by. My darling Volu, is that you in the kitchen? My muse has left me. Perhaps kisses would restore it. You are not who I expected to see. I knew my time here wouldn't last. I hoped it would take longer, though. Zero wanted to make sure I was truly dead, yes? I taught her too well. What business? The man you knew as Nicholas truly died in that storm. I am a changed man, a married man. I live quietly in this house, painting things that my wife adores. I retired. Ask. I'll tell you everything you want to know. No more secrets. None of them matter anymore. I wanted more. Alone, Abba's landing is a meager prize. But if I could find a way to bring in Tanith, with a stake in both cities, you control all trade in Hughes Bay. But I hadn't. Velsa should have joined me at Maluk's path. After my death, she would lead the others back to Abba's landing. Zira could scatter the guild before the Iron Wheel's arrival. But then Velsa retired and everything changed. Of course not. But had all gone according to plan, Zira could have filtered the guild into Tanith, set up there while the Iron Wheel was chasing them here. And when I was Magnifica Falora's puppet in Abba's Landing, Zira would be mine in Tanith. Very well. 
We both know my part in what happened to the Thieves' Guild. I won't beg for my life, if that's what you're expecting. If that's what Zero wants from me. Truly? You will never hear from me again. I swear it upon the love I hold for my dear wife. This home, my wife, it's all I shall ever want. Thank you. I won't squander this. Did Nicholas survive the storm? What happened? Is he... <laughs> Landed on his feet, despite the betrayal and death he left behind? You can never really know someone, who they are inside. You helped restore the Thieves' Guild, make it more than it once was. Of course, I trust your judgment. Now all the old business is put to rest. Let's go. We have a guild to run. There are heists to plan and merchant lords to rob. See you in the den.